Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is a crappy jig. Uh, this is going to be one of those ones where a uh, different material changed the way I, I made this. So um, what we're going to do is a jig I called Root Beer Flow. That's what the pattern is, real simple. Um, in the vise, we have a 1 16th ounce uh, freestyle jig head. The color is root beer. Uh, really nice powder paint color, this root beer. It has uh, gold and red flake in it. I know it's real hard to see. My lighting isn't great, but this is an excellent color. I really like it. Uh, we're using that color with this freestyle head, and we're using a size 4 Victory 11149 sickle style hook. And what we're going to use is a new material um, for me. And this is thanks to Adam over at SDG. This is Coyote. Um, Barlow's has this stuff. And um, so far, I'm really digging it. I'm really liking this. Uh, you get, it's a little bit longer than Arctic Fox fur. It's not as long as the Arctic Fox tail. It's very soft, um, like a craft fur. Um, craft fur, marabou, it's, that's what I think your uh, action is going to be with this stuff. So, uh, so far, I'm really liking it. Now we just have to see what the fish think. But anyway, like I said, 1 16th ounce freestyle head, painted root beer, size 4, victory, 11 149 sickle hook. And we're going to start with some black 140 denier flat wax nylon thread. And we'll get our base started. This, this pattern, this root beer float, is real easy. Uh, it's always worked good in a crappy jig, and I think with this new material, with that coyote, I think it's going to be outstanding. So we're going to go all the way down, right to about the barb, and I'm going to go back. And first thing we're going to do is put our tail material in, which is this coyote. I already cut some off. Just a nice little tuft, and you want it um, like two shanks would be shank and a half to two shanks would be about the right length. You know, you're talking like an inch, inch and a quarter beyond there. And we're gonna trim this. Lay it in here. I'll make a couple wraps just to hold it, and then we work it around. And once we get it to where we like it, we're going to hold it. Really button it down up here. Yeah, we're buttoned down now. This will never come out. Our tail's in. Now the next thing we're going to do is flash. And what I did was I took a strand of gold crystal flash and pink pearl. I know uh, the pink pearl is going to be almost impossible to see, but... Uh, the pink pearl is nice because it's more subtle than, than red, which actually looks more like the, the flake that's in the paint color. So I, I went with the pink pearl instead of a red uh, flash. Because that's what this root beer has, and it has red and gold, uh, red and gold flake. Fold it over. 
That's good. You want to cut this, you know, right around the tail length, a little longer, a little shorter, ain't going to hurt. Somewhere around the tail length is what you what you want. Can actually add more, but um, that's enough. Sometimes I'll add more, but I, I like I like the four strands on each side. That's a nice way to work. It just seems like that's the right amount of flash nets. Never too little and never too much. And now we're gonna add this. This is a uh, ischenil root beer, and it's the medium size. And ischenil is just like it's like your pearl uh, chenilles. Um, what's the other thing? Estaz, like that uh, type of chenille. It's got the the longer fibers, like a cactus chenille. That would be one. So I like to preen this material as you're wrapping it. Push the, those little fibers back as best you can. And again, I'm doubling up the wraps up top here so I can get a little bit of a taper. Now we get it trapped there and in front, and now we can trim our excess off. And we're going to whip finish it. Two, three, four. Cinch it. One, two, three, four. And we're going to take some water-based head cement here, but we're going to use a bodkin. And you can leave it just like this and it's perfectly fine. In fact, I do that a lot when, I, uh, when I'm making a bunch of them. I'll just leave it like this. But I also have come to use this stuff. This is Awesome Possum dubbing. And we're going to use right here the bleach ginger. And we just take a little bit out. Not a whole lot. And we're going to make our they call a noodle. This usually works better on thinner thread, but you want to get this pretty tight. That's pretty good. Do another whip finish. Two, four. And that's good. I'm going to take this little snipper here so I don't, don't uh, disturb the, the dubbing. Take our dubbing brush.
And that's it. And I'll show you what we have. We'll get our little clamp here. Get our tail fixed. And there you have it. That is a real simple little crappy jig. Normally, I use the cream colored craft fur. Um, that was the name of the color, actually, cream, uh, to do this. But I like the natural changes in this uh, coyote. It's really nice uh, material. But there you have it. That is our root beer float, crappy jig. One sixteenth ounce. Looks like it should work really good. Anyway, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.